Uh, hello YouTube. Uh, today we're going to take a look at how to check a project out from the Google code base and we're going to check that out of subversion using NetBeans IDE. The IDE that I am using for this is NetBeans IDE 6.8. The first step that we need to do is to go to Google code base itself and get familiar with it. If we open up our Google code base we should see a window sort of like this. If this is the first time you've been there, you're going to want to go to http://www.googlecode.com. This is going to take you to this type of a screen. If it's the first time you're doing it, you're going to want to create a new project. However, in this particular video, we're not going to create a new project. What we are going to do is click on profile and we're going to take a look at um, this here. The first thing that we need to do is go into our settings and copy our uh, googlecode.com password. We're going to use this later on. The next thing we need to do is go back to our profile and look at the project that we would like to check out. Then underneath the project home we can select updates then we can select the most recent update and then select browse. Underneath there we can see something called a trunk. The trunk is where the code will be. We want to be familiar with this so that later on when we, use, when we check the project out we know what to put in. Now we're going to go to our IDE. In the IDE you're going to look for the team menu. That's at the top here beside tools called team. When you open this menu it's going to give you a variety of options. We're interested in subversion and we want to go to check out. The first step here is to check this out. Now when you open this it's going to show you a repository URL. In this particular example, it's already populated that with my data because I've been here before. If this is the first time that you've been here, you'll have to fill this in yourself. Watch out that you put HTTPS and not HTTP. For your username, you're going to want to put in your, your Google username. And for your password, you're going to want to put in that auto-generated password that we got on the other page. Don't mix that up with your Gmail password. After we've filled that out, the next process is to connect to the sub, uh, subversion repository. So we select next. After it's connected to the subversion repository, we need to map our repository folder um, to our trunk mapping. In my particular case, it's yawiki client. Down here where it says local folder, that's the location that you can select where you'd like to check the project out to. In my particular case, I'm going to take my working copy down to yawiki client I can go ahead now and click Finish. And this is going to check the project out. I can check on the progress here it looks like it was able to do it. So it says that it checked out the files. Okay. The next thing we need to do is go over to our project window and I'm going to click here and select right click and select open project. This is going to open up a dialog box that I can use to select the project that I'd like to open. Here it's automatically selected at the right folder. So all I need to do is click open project. After I've done this now, I've got a working copy of the program on my IDE. If I click source packages, I can then see the code, I can edit it, and I can also commit my changes when I'm ready to do so. So after you've made your changes, you can simply right click again on the file that you'd like to check in, go down to the subversion menu, 
and if you're like me you need to update first to make sure you've got the latest copy after you've done that it's safe to commit your change I can now commit this change is made and that's how you use the subversion client um, on NetBeans uh, that's it for today thanks very much for watching